All right, guys, we're back with top four Edison format, Epic Cards and Games at Hearst, Texas. We got Nico on the left playing Bayou Turbo versus Javi on the right taking the, I don't know, the GB challenge is over, but he's still trying to win with it, trying to be the second person with GBs. We'll see if he can pull it off. So uh, both these guys were X1. Actually, Nico's only loss in the Swiss rounds was Javi, so this is a rematch from Swiss, and we'll see who's going to make it to the finals. Neither one of these guys have won on the channel before. Javi's been in the finals twice, while Nico's been in the finals, I think, four or five times. I can't remember. It's, it's, it's four for sure, but it might be five. I might may have missed one. Anyway, let's see. Javi MSTs, the Solemn, and then summons Sam Knight. So he must have a cherry if he didn't attack into the monster. Yes. And he read the Raikko, and now here comes Sirocco. Does Javi have anything to stop the Sirocco? Special Gale. So probably he knows he doesn't have another chariot. So the only thing Nico's afraid of now is maybe a Mirror Force. Even Deep Prison hurts a little bit. Okay, so that's at 800, so he takes 5. And the main deck Crow. We'll see how it works out in this matchup. Let's see. I think Nico's not going to attack. So Nico's reading a Deep Prison, and it's probably going to make Stardust, because Stardust is really good against GBs. And Nico passes. So Javi's got, what, three cards in hand staring down Stardust. If he has a way to deal with the Stardust, like a Book of Moon, or, I mean, Book of Moon doesn't really out it, but... It's not a bad card to deal with Stardust. And maybe he made one compose. I'm not sure on Javi's list. He's tweaking it like everyone. Everyone tweaks their lists here and there. Side decks as well. So Javi's taking forever. So <laughs> Javi just got back into Edison again recently. He hadn't shown up for like a year. But like the thing about him is, for those guys who may not know him, he might be slower than Donnell. And that's saying something because Donnell is really slow. This guy, he's one of my best friends. I've known him forever, and he's just, everyone, he's notoriously slow. If I ever get him and Donnell on camera, they're probably going to go into time. I'm willing to bet on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Javi, come on, man. This is ridiculous. If you're watching, come on. Look at this. Even Donnell doesn't take this long. There we go. Okay, Sekitor, Test Tiger. So what's he going to do? Oh, God, I had to roast him. If Donnell's watching this video, he's going to let you guys know. Donnell finally is admitting that he's slow, but he's like, yeah, Javi's slower than me. All right, so he chooses. Okay, so he's going to book the Stardust. Yeah, book the Stardust. And he's going to Secutor the Stardust and activate Secutor's effect. But he's going to take, what's Secutor's attack? 400 and Stardust defense is 2,000, I think. So he's going to take uh, 16. Yeah, 16, so... I have him 8,059, but what do you do here? Do you go Marmillo, Ready Ari to get rid of the Stardust? Do you grab back your Chariot? How many Darks are Nico's Grave? This is, even though the Seki Tour is going off, this does not look good for Javi. So, yeah, that's all I was thinking. So, he Marmillo's the Stardust, and then activate a quest. I'm guessing he... Oh, he chains Crow on the Chariot. So I'm guessing because Mermillo's Chain Link 1 and Quest is Chain Link 2, he can't negate with Stardust. I think that's why he did this move. Yeah, that's why he did it. Okay, here comes Armageddon. So that Crow might have came in clutch for Nico because uh, now Javi doesn't have a Chariot. But he's got like... So he's going to have Synchro for 6. Does he have Dark Arm? The... Nico, he, every time I, okay, so he dis, bounces the back row, which is Vi, with Vayu. So he's probably reading the deep prison that Javi had from, like, two turn from the previous turn when he didn't attack with the Sirocco. Yeah, yeah, so Vayu, so 23, so he can clear, who do you want to leave up if you're Nico? Do you leave up? The quest, do you leave up the Sekitor or do you leave up the... I think you can get rid of Sekitor and just leave the Ramillo up. I th That's what I'm thinking on the top of my head. Because you don't want Javi to draw like another Book of Moon and book you and then activ activate Sekitor's effect again. Okay, I don't know what these two guys are arguing about. They're arguing about something. I'm just glad Nico doesn't have Dark Arm because lately when I've been playing against him, he draws red insane against me. Yeah, so I like this. He takes 7 and then 19, so 26 total. I think you can't afford to leave the Sekitor up. 
you have to get it off the field. You have the read that it's like a D prison or most likely a D prison hobby set, not mirror force because he would have mirror forced them. He would have mirror forced them the turn before. Now here, Neagle can use Brio's effect if he wants to. Yeah, it's eight thousand thirty-three or thirteen. Already take other other thousand from or two thousand from. Maybe I missed life points somewhere and oh, Javi was drawing cat. He slammed the cat. <laughs> so Nico takes game one. One win away from getting back to another finals. Nico still has not won. I mean, neither of these guys, but Nico plays every week. Javi just come got back into it for a year and he's already made what? One finals already? Okay, so he's he, Javi Bottomless is a Cyber Dragon, summons Greffer. Sends Vayu Sirocco, activates Vayu's effect. Man, this is not looking good for Javi already. He's about to deal with one of your Laquaris. And Greffer is not even easy. Like The only monster in Javi's deck that runs over Greffer is uh, is Laquari. But he might have sighted in Cyber Dragons in for this matchup. So he took 5. 22 total. 8,058. Well, GBs make it back to the finals. Even though the GB challenge is over, it's still impressive, man. It's hard to win with GBs. <laughs> okay, so he compulses the Laquari and sets one. Here comes Rhoda. Me knowing Javi very well, I don't think he plays Torrential in his deck. Sometimes, like, I've been on the... I, it might be worth it just to throw Torrential in every deck because people just walk into it. If, if they don't think you play it in your deck... They just walk into it, including myself. Like, I, I do it all the time. So that's why it might, it might be worth it just to play, like, Gores and Torrential in decks that people don't see coming. Anyway, here, D-Prison to Stardust and probably hits him for 14 and 17. So that's, what, 31? Yeah, 27 to 8K. So Javi with a, the Laquari that Nico composed. Here, Nico takes 100. So 79, 27. Tags out Laquari. Oh, oppression. Oof. <laughs> Ouch. That hurts. Let's see if Javi can get out of this because this is this is devastating. Luckily for him, and he's at 27, so he can't even take another hit from from Armageddon Knight. Yeah, 27, 71. And then you take 14. Nico passes. So, but Javi's got a bunch of cards in hand. So I'm going to quest. So that might be good. Does he, he doesn't tag out the the quest. So here's the scenario where we argued before in previous video, videos. Seven tools versus trap stun and GBs. In this situation, trap stun is better. So you can, like I can make the argument that both are good. Okay. It just depends on your play style and other cards that are in your deck. All right, so he attacks with the card trooper. Does he have another D prison? Might be worth it just to mirror force him if, if you have it. Let's see, 69, 13. Ooh, he lets it go through. Man, now Javi's down to 1,000 life points. Here comes Bestie. Attacks for 11. So 58, 1,000. Now Javi's got three back rows. I think Javi plays one bribe, and then he chariots the Raikou, sets, sets a third back row, and passes. So now, does he have another? Oh, wow, another chariot. <laughs> so he's just beating them down with Bestiari. So now we're at 43 to 1,000. Nico's got another Raikou. If he has something to deal with the oppression and just Geyserism, this is just game. If, but I think Javi took Trapston out of his deck. But he could have Dust Tornadoes. I'm sure he sides that in. Yeah, he has something to answer the oppression. He's going to force Nico to pay 800. Yep, chain dust. Pop the Raikou. Now Javi's in complete control of this game. And Nico kept in Gores. <laughs> uh, I probably would have cited that out personally against GBs. I don't like it. Especially, you're probably putting in both oppressions. No, Nico, he probably main decks both the oppressions. So he quests and Darius is now he's gonna hurt Kalinos. I think this game's over for Nico. 
it's just tough to deal with GBs. When they get rolling like this, man, it's tough. No matter what deck you're playing. Unless you unless you side in like Volcanic Queen or something. I've actually thought about siding. If you're if you have a bad a really bad GB matchup and you're scared of them dropping a Herc on you, like if you're playing Dragon Turbo, I was thinking maybe people should side Volcanic Queen or Lava Golem and just boom. Get rid of the Herc. <laughs> That's like an easy out, right? It's like a kaiju. All right. Oh, but you summon Armageddon Knight, but then he just attacks your Armageddon Knight for game. Nico, what are you doing, man? Yeah, Nico, Nico realizes it and scoops up. Oh, he's showing his back rows. Mirror Force Composed Chariot. So we're going to game three. Will Javi pull off the Legacy 2-0 and get, get back to his... It'll be his third finals overall if he wins. All three with GBs if he does make it. But we'll see. Or will Nico get back to the finals? Nico's been in the final. Every time he's made the finals, been with Vayu. It's like the only deck he plays. Occasionally he'll play zombies, but most of the time he only plays Vayu. And here comes Heavy. That's why I say not to set two. See, you have Bottomless Torrential. You can set either one and be fine. Why set Bottomless and Torrential turn one and get blown out by Heavy? You could have just set either one. If you want to set the Torrential, fine. Me personally, I would set Bottomless. And now. Okay, so Javi tests Tigers, the Sam Knight, and he's going to search a Chariot. So Nico took 12, but he did gain 2,000 from Upstar. Sorry, I was ranting about the Heavy Storm. Like, if yeah, see, he would have set, let's say Nico only sets the Bottomless. Javi's going to Heavy him. Then you still have Torrential. You can set the Torrential this turn, and whatever Javi does next turn, you just Torrential him. This is why I say first, I'm saying, when I say, talk about this heavy thing, I think it's correct to just set one on your first turn. So Javi probably thinks Nico doesn't have Heavy Storm because he set two on his first turn. So here, Nico knows he has Chariot. So we're at 88 to 8,000. Now he summons Laquari. See here, he would have torrential him. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the duel. So seven... He's going to hit him for 18. I think maybe he's a little scared of Gores because he saw it game two. Just checking to see how many darks are in the grave. Like, Javi's a really good player. He's just rusty. It, like So his technical play is not, like, on point. But that's everyone. The more you play, the better your technical play is. But, like, just his knowledge of the game is really, really high. So yeah, here he's the bit I think was 93. I think they messed up life points somewhere. Cause he took 12. He has him at 93. He took Sam Knight attacking the trooper for 12, right? Oh well, I'll go with what they have. Yeah, I think he forgot to take off. Yeah, he forgot to take off the 12 from the Sam Knight attacking the car trooper. He bottomless is Sirocco. And Nico just scoops. His hand is just bad. So Javi is taking GBs to the finals. Will we get a second win with GBs on the channel? Nico's still trying to get that first win as well. And uh, we'll be back soon for that one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.